Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon. So today we will be reviewing three brand new Jurassic World Dominion places. I'm super excited. Take a look at them. We have the new Ocean Protector Mosasaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. Over Escape Pack right here, which contains two Atrociraptor and one Conotaurus. And this, which is known as the Capture and Crush Truck. Looks really good. It comes with a brand new Velociraptor. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So let's begin with the um, Owen Escape Pack. So have you guys watched the trailer? There was a scene where the two Atrociraptors were actually chasing after Owen. So this set is basically created just for that, which is super awesome. So let's take a look at the box. So similarly, it has the Pyroraptor on the left. You have two Atrociraptors and one really cool Conotaurus. I think this figure, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. And of course, Owen in the bike and some accessories right over here. If you flip it over, you can see the box has beautiful illustrations of um, all the figures inside this box. So let's open this up together, okay? So how do we open this? Um, I think you have to flip it over. There's like a tape right here. So let me just cut this open. I think I will be keeping the box for now, okay, because we may still need it for, um, you know, the video on Saturday. Okay, I've managed to cut the box loose, so let's take this out. The box is still looking pretty good, I must say. Alright, so you can see the figures are nicely packed into this case right here, so let's get all the parts out. Let's get the first Atrociraptor out. Wow, it's looking very huge. I mean, if you compare it with the, um, the previous Velociraptors and um, another one, we're gonna do like a comparison later on as well. This Conotaurus, awesome Conotaurus. It looks really good. The size is like so nice to hold it with. Okay, um, we have Owen right here. So let's get Owen out. I'm not a huge fan of um, like human figures. I mean, to be really honest with you. So there's actually like a um, little string attached to his body. So let me just cut this loose. Okay, it should be out right now. Okay, we have the um, helmet and also the knife, which is right here. So the knife is actually taped to the box so you can easily get this out. All right, let's put this aside and let's put all the figures on the table nicely. Let's try to put Owen on the table over here. Wow, what kind of pose is this? Owen's like so happy. Let's just lean it against, um, you know, there's a string right here. So let's get this out. Oh dear, it's stuck. Owen, you have a string attached to you. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the, the arm string over there. And Owen is like, <laughs> he's doing acrobats with the motorbike right here. Okay. We also have the um, Atrociraptor, two of them. Put this right over here. And the bigger one. Okay, can still stand, so that's pretty cool. And this is the Conotaurus. I'll put this right here. Okay, so I think it's time for us to have a close look at all the different figures. Let's have a look at Owen first, okay? Let me get this out as well. Wow, it's kind of annoying. So you have to like cut the strings um, loose like this. Oh, it's like, it's attached to the bike. The hands are also attached. So yeah, you can see this bike is really cool looking. I'll remove the strings later on, I guess. And this is Owen. I think this Owen figure, it's very, very similar to the um, previous one from uh, the other movies. So you can see this is Owen. Let's put on the um, helmet for him, shall we? There you go. Wow, the helmet is actu actually really tight. All right, let's take a look at the Owen figure. You can actually see there is like a stand right here so you can actually balance the mic bike nicely. And here's Owen with the helmet. And of course, it comes with a knife, so Owen can probably hold a knife quite easily. Or you can just slot the knife into this little sheath right at the back. 
like this. Looks pretty good. So you can basically make Owen stand on the table or you can just have him on the motorbike, which is very cool. Okay, let's take a look at the Colonel Taurus. I think I'm the most excited about the Colonel Taurus. This is a figure that I really, really like. I think the size is really nice. It's actually smaller than the um, previous, you know, Colonel Taurus. Let's have a look at this. Close up, looks really beautiful. Wow, if you take a look at this, one of the horns, it's actually like broken. Yeah, can you guys see it? Yeah, one of the horns is actually broken. You're able to move the jaw, you can rotate the neck, you can actually move the tiny little arms, lift them up and down. For the legs, of course, you can move them as well. The tail can be rotated, so it's a really beautiful um, figure. Of course, it comes with its own coat right here, which you guys can pause and scan in effects app. We shall scan this together as well. So let me turn on my Jurassic World FX app. Let's do the scan right here. Let's see whether we are able to scan it fast this time. Wow, it's losing focus. Okay, it's not really scanning. Let me try. Yeah, it's not really scanning. I have no idea why. Are you guys able to scan this in your FX app? Have you guys tried to scan this? Oh, right now, yeah. Let me turn up the volume. Finally, we got it, okay? So this is basically the new Conotaurus. Let's try the, this, the AR feature. So there you go, wow. A really, really beautiful Conotaurus. Let's make it like smaller. You can actually rotate it like this. You can tap on it. To make it raw really beautiful okay let's hit back let's take a look at um some facts about this what the weight is only the weight of a car and um, it's actually found in South America and the diet is actually I mean it's definitely a carnivore all right that's a beautiful Conotaurus for you so let me place this right here. Let's just do a very quick size comparison um, with the other, you know, Colonel Torres from the very recent um, series, All right? It's quite hard for them to stand. I mean, if you take a look at this, this is basically Colonel Torres Toro. Yeah, Colonel Torres Toro is actually pretty big as compared to this. So this is a, quite a small Conotaurus, but I really love it because the colors look so cool. And I feel that this size is actually very, very awesome. Okay, so this is Conotaurus Toro. I've also brought um, the previous, you know, Control and Conquer Conotaurus. So you guys can see what? Yeah, it can still roar for sure. But I think this button is not making, yeah, it's still working. Okay, I've actually brought another Conotaurus to show you guys, which is the um, action attack. So the action attack is actually smaller than the um, Conotaurus Toro for sure, but still bigger than um, the Owen Escape Conotaurus. This Conotaurus just looks so amazing. I'm hoping um, that we can actually get a bigger figure. I think that would be awesome. You know, maybe the size of the Young Tronosaurus. Have you guys seen the Young Tronosaurus? Yeah, which is right here. So hopefully it is the same size as the young Chinosaurus. I think that will be awesome. Okay, just hold on a few seconds because I have actually brought a few more kind of Taurus just to do a size comparison. So this is basically the mini. This was the previous mini from um, you know a couple of years back from the blind bags. This is also a very old figure, I think from the 2015 movie. So that's like at least like seven years ago. This is another one, which is, um, I think, the very first one, the very first minifigure. And this is the la latest one. Yeah, this is the latest one. The latest minifigure. It's actually slightly smaller than um, what you're getting right now. And the colors of this is actually different from um, this kind of Taurus, which is kind of um, weird, because I, I believe they should produce like a black one. I think that would be really cool. Okay, next, let's move on to the um, Atrociraptors, okay? This is basically a new Atrociraptor. You can see this Atrociraptor is actually bigger, I think. It's bigger than, um, 
No, it's actually the same. Oh, okay, that's surprising. I thought, you know, it's supposed to be like slightly bigger than um, the Velociraptors. So this is a beautiful Atrociraptor. You can actually move the head down. You can rotate it. The um, movement is actually very smooth. Okay, the new figures are actually very smooth. You can open and close the jaw. It's beautifully painted. You can actually move the arms. The arms are beautifully done as well, except that it, um, the claws aren't painted. Um, yeah, including the toe claws are not painted. You can actually rotate the tail. Beautiful. Lift this up. And you can scan this in your effects app. So let's scan this as well. Okay. Let's scan this. Hopefully you can scan this fast. Yeah, I got it faster this time. So this is Atrociraptor, one of the Atrociraptor, I guess. Okay, so it is the weight of three cats. Wow, that's pretty light. If you go back, let's just do a quick AR of this. Okay, there you go. Wow. Wow, it, it, it's looking very, very awesome, I must say. Okay, you can rotate it. I love this. I really love this. I think it's really, really cool. Okay, so that's the first Atrociraptor for you guys. The next one is actually this. The crouching, um, you know, Atrociraptor. I've actually brought um, this one to do a very quick comparison. This is basically our usual crouching Velociraptors, as you guys can see. Wow, the previous Velociraptors are actually longer, you can see. You know, the, we're putting the feet at the same point, but the head is actually longer. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. But of course, the previous Atrociraptor, I mean, the previous Velociraptors doesn't have a uh, movable neck like this one. This one actually has a very nice movable neck. So that's pretty cool. Okay, you can actually lift this up and um, scan this in the effects app as well. In terms of coloration, I definitely prefer the previous one. What about you guys? Let me know down below. I think the previous one definitely looks um, better. Let's scan this. Okay, we got it quite fast this time. Okay, so just to take a quick look. Yeah, basically the same facts. Okay, so um, yeah, let's move on to... Um, let's take a look at the other raptors. Okay, so this is basically the um, the other Velociraptor. It's not the Atrociraptor, but you can see these are the brand new Raptors that you can actually find from the Dominion series. So they look kind of nice together. I think this is like the um, you know, the smaller version of the Atrociraptor. I'm not too sure whether this is Tiger. This is probably Atrociraptor Tiger. Not too sure. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna put this right over here. And this is basically a Atrociraptor Ghost. Okay, we are still awaiting the um, figure of the Atrociraptor Ghost. Okay, we also have Beta right over here, which you guys should have seen this before in um, the previous, you know, videos. Alright, so let's move on and take a look at our next figure, which is the Mosasaurus. So let's go. Alright, so let's take a look at the new Ocean Protector Mosasaurus made from 454 grams which is one pound of ocean bound plastic which is kind of cool okay so i think this should be more or less the same as um the previous mosasaurus that we have we have the real few mosasaurus we also have the um you know the previous ocean protector mosasaurus so let's um open this up shall we let's just cut this open there's a tape right here so we can just pull this out another tape right here as well okay so let's get the box out I think you can't get the box out but you can actually get the tail out so wow the flippers are here as well so I guess there could be a few more flippers yeah there you go oh there you go four flippers in total all right all four flippers are out of the box, so it's time for us to cut the strings loose um, for this figure. So there's one inside, so just reach up to it. Can't really see because it's so dark. Uh, let's see whether we are able to cut it from this angle. And um, here, another one. 
Hopefully this should be adequate to get it out. No, there's one more inside. So we have to like reach in to cut loose the other string. Yeah. I think this should be okay now. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so this is basically the new Mosasaurus. I think it looks exactly the same as um, the previous Ocean Protector. Okay, but I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. I think it should be more or less the same. Yeah, the body looks exactly the same even in terms of the coloration. So yeah, I think it should be the same one. But let's try to assemble this one now, okay? So where does this go? This is basically like number one. So you just need to pop this in. You can hear like a nice snapping sound. And if this one, it should be um, number two which should be um, on the other side because the front flippers are supposed to be like bigger okay I don't hear a snapping sound yet so we need to try to push in harder okay I think yeah it's in all right and now for the um, other flipper this is number three right here it's written as number three is um, supposed to be on the other side. So let's just pop this in. Like this. Okay. Why is it not going in? Okay, let's just make sure this is number three. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's not snapping but maybe it's tight enough not too sure so the other side yeah i think there's no snapping sound for the um you know the hind flippers and this is the tail there's like a little slot right here for you to um, aim it and align it with okay i'm not exactly the strongest person okay so we need some yeah, it's really hot, I mean, with the camera right in front. So, let's, let's push this in. Alright, this is completed. We have the new Mosasaurus Ocean Protector. I mean, if you take a look at the face, um, yeah, it is exactly the same as the previous Ocean Protector from, you know, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. So it's exactly the same one. It's different from the real field Mosasaurus, which is right here. A real few Mosasaurus has a different color tone, okay? It also has a more rubbery tail, whereas this is actually made of like hot plastic. You can listen to the sound. It's like really hot. This is rubbery, okay? So the real few Mosasaurus, it's, um, yeah, it's a very nice one. I love the color tone. But I think the Ocean Protector, it's definitely a huge improvement. The previous Ocean Protector actually has the code right here. This is the previous code, the previous DNA code. But for the new one, it's actually right over here, okay? It comes with the sliding. Wow, this one is, it looks huge, guys. Okay, let's flip it over. Yeah, you can see the DNA code for this Mosasaurus is kind of big as compared to, um, you know, the rest. So let's do a quick scan of this. Let's do a very quick scan of this. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it should be swimming in the um, water. So that's the Mosasaurus for you. Yeah, you tap on it, you would actually like, there's no sound, <laughs> okay? The weight of a car, I don't believe so. I, I believe the Mosasaurus is like, it should be bigger than the weight of a car. I don't believe it's only the weight of a car. What do you guys think? I don't think so. It's definitely a mistake, I feel. Okay, so this, it's the, um, you know, the 3D model. Wow, it looks awesome. It's definitely not as detailed as what, you know, you would have expected of. Still a very, very cool model figure. Okay, so this is basically the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. I've actually brought um, two little figurines to show you guys, okay? Have you guys seen the minifigure, the latest one? This is actually the latest Jurassic World Dominion 
um, figure, which I think looks very, very amazing. But I only just realized there was actually a uh, Mosasaurus back in like 2015. 2015 like this. This is actually the one. I cannot remember whether it was 2015 or 2018, but this was basically from the, um, you know, a 15 pack set. But you can see for this figure, there's like no paint work on this, whereas this is like super nicely painted. Yeah, definitely a huge improvement, but you know, it's still using the um, same old sculpt. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so that's the ocean protector for you guys, okay? Let me put this right at the back. Really, really awesome figure. I think the next one that we need to open up is actually this vehicle. Capture and crush truck. I mean, to be really honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of vehicles because I feel they are very bulky. I don't really like them um, to be displayed in my shelf. I'll probably display this, um, you know, this vehicle somewhere um, in our basement dino dungeon, probably, you know, on top of the shelf. Definitely not at level 2 Jurassic World Midlands, okay? Definitely not that. So let's take a look at this. It comes with this little truck um, that has this little crane to capture the Velociraptor and also comes with this. You know, not too sure what this is. If you flip it over, you'll be able to find, um, you know, the vehicle. Very nice illustration and you can actually launch this. So let's open this up, okay? Let's open this up together. Let's cut all the strings loose. Let's get the Velociraptor up from the box first. Okay, you can actually open this. That's cool, that's very nice. And this is like the crane. Um, for the vehicle, we have to snap this as well. You know, luckily our pair of scissors is really, really sharp. It's very easy for us to, you know, take up, retrieve all the different um, items. All right, I think we have to like open this. I really dislike this kind of packaging because these little knobs, they are not easy for you to turn. You have to use like plenty of force. Oh, this time is actually slightly easier. It comes with an instru instructions sheet. We don't need this for sure, for sure, okay? But I'm having difficulty trying to open this. Okay, let's try. Let's try the um, this way. Okay. There you go. The vehicle should be out. So right now, all we need to do is um, basically get all the different items out from the box. Okay, I've ripped this open so you can get this piece out. I think this should be the launcher. It's like a rubber chain. This is cool. It's like a rubbery launcher and um, a projectile right here. Okay, so basically I've got all the different items out from the box. So this is the vehicle. It looks very, very cool, I must say. It looks really fantastic. So it comes with different parts. So let's start to assemble this um, together. Okay, I think that this can be placed right here. It can be placed in the middle or it can also be placed on the side. It really depends on where you like it. I think this will make more sense. And um, this is actually like the launcher. So we can stick this right in over here. And this is basically like a missile, like the projectile. So all you need to do is just slot this right in. Comes with a very nice snapping sound. And this is like a part of um, the vehicle to sort of like simulate that it's being attacked by the Velociraptor. So, and of course, this chains right here, it can be attached to um, the truck like this. I must say it looks really, really beautiful. I'm quite impressed with um, this vehicle. So we can basically keep the Velociraptor, you know, inside this truck. And it also comes with a code. So that is actually very, very cool. Okay, where is our phone? Okay, <laughs> my phone is actually missing. It's actually on the floor. So let's take a look at this, okay? So it basically, you know, operates like this. There's a button right here. So you can actually use the Velociraptor to attack the vehicle like this like this and this will just spring right out okay there's another button right here so you can, the velociraptor you can see some claw marks right over here so you can basically use the velociraptor to attack 
the vehicle like this and this will just spring out of course you can put Owen inside so let's try to put Owen inside let's see whether it fits I think it should be able to fit yeah there you go very very cool I must say oh Owen seems to be a bit tall I'm trying to put, fit him in yeah I think you can you're able to fit him in very nicely okay you can definitely put him in a not much nicer position okay you can close this right back quite easily like this oh it seems to have it um you know another place for you to actually insert the projectile you can probably insert this right here so and you can press this wow you can really fly fly really far that's pretty cool very very cool i must say okay let's get this out slot this right back how do i slot this in okay very cool i love this so you can basically use this capture tool to capture the velociraptor like this while wow, it hangs really well and um are you able to lift it up and just drop it drop the velociraptor over here and you can trap the velociraptor right here like this very very beautiful wow what an amazing playset i think this playset it's really really awesome okay so um let's scan let's scan the truck and also the velociraptor okay let's get the velociraptor out from the truck let's scan this Hopefully you are able to scan it. Whoa. Here are your power-ups. I'm, I'm gonna skip this. I think because you can actually, you know, play with it. Okay, let's just choose a um, dinosaur. How about the Sungariptorus? Oh, it's actually a game. Wow. Oh, that's actually pretty fun. What is the purpose of this game? Do I just collect the um, ember? Yeah, I mean, what I'm supposed to do? Do I just like drive this vehicle all the way? I mean, it's kind of fun. It's not bad, it's pretty fun. And what do I do now? Oops. Oh dear. I'm bad at this. Oh my goodness. Let's try to capture another one. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Let's just try this once more, guys. Okay. You can probably make a video of this on, on more than I think you guys really love like you know me playing games So you can definitely play a game of this Yeah, let's try this Hopefully we are able to capture it I mean this is my first time playing it So I'm not very good at catching it Do I tap on it? Where do I tap? Oh dear. Oh yes, finally. I got it. You did great. You have earned the gold trophy. Gold digital trophy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna play this again. Yeah, I think let's stop this. Let's go back. And um Yeah, I'm gonna quit this. I didn't know that's a game, so that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at this Velociraptor. This is definitely a very very cool one. A new paint scheme um very very nice color scheme of course it is basically the same as the um blue when it comes to the um, body sculpt as you guys can see pretty much the same okay so let's lift this lift this up and have a look of course you have another fax app i mean another code for you guys to scan so let's scan this 
Let's see what's inside. It is the size, it is the weight of a chicken. I, I know, I know. Check this out. Oh, four kittens, four cats. All right, so that's the new Velociraptors. Yeah, so far, um, yeah, so basically, you know, let's do like a um, roundup of all the different items that we have actually reviewed today. So my most favorite figure has got to be the um, new Conotaurus. I think the colors, it's amazing. I really love it. And this is basically uh, the new Velociraptor, okay? And um, the Atrociraptor, which, which I think, you know, is slightly... It looks slightly bigger than the Velociraptors, but it's actually the same. Yeah, but of course you can see the jaw is slightly thicker, slightly wider, slightly wider than the Velociraptor. Okay, um, moving on, let's see. Okay, my most favorite figure is definitely the Carnotaurus, but I feel that um, you know, this Atrociraptor looks really beautiful as well. Uh, for sure, showing you guys the um, you know, the motorbike of um, Owen, which I think it's amazing. It's a really beautiful motorbike. I think it looks like the previous motorbike with a different paint scheme, and of course, the uh, Ocean Protector Mosasaur, which looks very very awesome. I think this vehicle, it's really, really beautiful. I'm gonna say it um, has so much function, so much playability. You can definitely put like the Conotaurus inside as well. I think you're able to do it. You know, if you're able to slot it in, you can put different dinosaurs. So it's a very, very cool vehicle for sure, okay? I want you guys to comment down below which which figure or which playset is actually your most favorite from this video, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'm gonna see you guys on Saturday and of course, Thursday for the next video, okay? Thanks for watching this. Goodbye.